I have a bag of frozen chicken fried rice just chilling on my bed. If I could marry a brush, it would be this. Like, look at how huge this is. It's a freaking microphone. <laughs> Alright, so today we are going to be talking about what I've been putting on my face every single day. I usually have like foundation ADD where I try a new foundation literally every day, but the past month or month and a half-ish, I have actually been sticking to a routine that's been working really well for me. If you're new to my channel, I have very acne prone combination skin, I have cystic acne. I'll link some of my acne videos down below so you can kind of hear my whole skin story if you're interested, but this is a foundation routine for the people who want amazing full coverage and you want your foundation to stay on all day. This is a pretty glowy luminous finish, it's just what I've been feeling lately. So if you guys want to hear about my favorite products and what I've been using, you're in the right place, just keep watching. Alright, so I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I use the Polish Choice Moisturizer. It's like this one for acne but it has SPF in it. I'll put it in the description box if you're curious, but that's what I use for moisturizer. Favorite primer, which I mentioned before, is the Ulta Matte and Prime. This is what I've been using every single day. All these products I've been using pretty much almost every day for the last month and a half, month. This is a really nice smoothing primer. I don't think it helps with mattifying, but it does make your foundation glide on, makes your face feel super smooth. Smooth? What was I going for there? Soft. Ooh, I used an Axe body wash and I smell like a dude right now. So let's just jump in. This has just been what's been working for my skin. So for foundation, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in the shade 10. I have a full review on this product. Really love this foundation. It's an amazing, amazing full coverage foundation. If you have pale skin, the shade 10 is light enough. It's actually too light for me, which is why I started mixing it with this bad boy. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. This has an SPF 50, which is really nice, really nice coverage with this. Some people will find that there's like glitter in this. I don't see that at all. For me it's just a really nice illuminated dewy glow. I do one pump of this and I'm almost out of this thing and then I kind of just open this guy, shake it, and then the way I get this product out is I just use my finger and take a little bit off of the end. So I'm just mixing these on the back of a palette. This is like about how much of the Marc Jacobs foundation I take. It has super full coverage. So mixing these, and this is like a perfect shade for me when these two are mixed. A little bit on the light side, but I do that on purpose because I'm going to go in with a powder that's a little bit too dark. My skin, pretty horrible right now. Let's just show you for a sec. So I have some major breakouts going on right now. kind of talked about a skincare uh, update in, what video was that? I think it was my last shot on Schmooze or something. By the way, this is the Morphe E31. Love this brush for foundation. If I'm not using that brush, I'm using the e.l.f. I think this is a selfie. I think it's actually a powder brush, but it works amazing for liquid foundation. Both work great for this combo. And as you can see, this has really good coverage covering up everything. In that last video where I talked about my skin, I told you guys I was going on Accutane. I am still going on Accutane, but now I'm waiting until the end of August because I have a shit ton of trips coming up. I'm just not going to be in town enough for all the blood tests and doctor visits and stuff you have to do. In the meantime, I'm going back on spironolactone. I'm not on the same migraine medication that I was on last time, so I'm hoping I don't get a reaction again. That's why I stopped spironolactone last time. So I have combination skin. It does get quite oily in my T-zone throughout the day. So this combination, if you have similar skin to mine or if you if your foundation breaks down throughout the day, this should last pretty well. My foundation looks pretty dang good all day. I usually put on my makeup at about 6.30 a.m. for work and it's good until like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. at night. I love the tone of the It Cosmetics foundation and if you're looking for a good brand that does not break you out, it Cosmetics, man, it's freaking amazing. When my skin was at its best, I was using It Cosmetics. My skin is just really bizarre. Last week, I almost took photos, and now I wish I did, because my skin was, like, clear. Literally a week ago, my skin was completely clear, like, not a single zit, just acne scarring. And then this week, it's like a freaking acne volcano exploded. Acne volcano. That's a new one. So if I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, which I kind of do right now, I just take a tiny bit of the Marc Jacobs and just dab it on the end here and just go over some of the spots where I feel like I need a little more coverage. I'm in such a filming mood and I think I'm just going to be going to Target after this. I've heard that they have really good stuff at the dollar spot right now, so I'm going to go check it out, see what Target's all about. 
that rhymed. So I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with my eye makeup or anything. Okay, so I love the finish that this gives. It's a nice illuminating glow, but not too oily looking. This is the Collection Cosmetics Concealer in the lightest shade, and my thing is like totally worn off. I ordered these on eBay. This concealer is freaking amazing. It's full coverage, really nice consistency. I like the color on my skin tone. The only thing is you have to order it on eBay. So I literally have like three backups coming because I'm obsessed with this. I think Collection is kind of like a wet and wild, someone commented. Like that's kind of what they're known for, like they're more affordable. But this is bomb. So I just like to first blend it out with my fingers. I feel like I get the best coverage with concealer when I blend it out with my finger. Then I just take the Morphe G1 brush and just blend that in a little bit better. I do like to apply my concealer down the center of my face. So I'm putting that on the forehead, bringing it down the nose, chin, and I just use the brush for this. If you're new to my channel, I have a ton of foundation videos showing you guys how to cover up acne and if you have pale skin, I feel ya, the struggle is real. I'll leave a playlist for my pale skin videos and foundation reviews down below. Instead of baby wipes, I've been using these Morphe makeup removing things because they're pretty shitty. These do not remove my face makeup, so now I'm just using them for removing makeup from my hands. So to set the under eyes, I've been using the Stargazer powder. Mentioned this before too. This is a pressed white powder and the consistency of this is really nice for being a pure white powder. Usually they're kind of like talky and hey, I've hit pan. Always an exciting day when you hit pan. I wouldn't recommend this probably if you don't have pale skin, but if you do and you have a hard time finding an under eye powder that's light enough, try this out. You can get it on Amazon. It's literally five or six dollars. Like what? It just brightens up under there, it sets everything, makes it look super flawless. And to apply that I use the e.l.f. brush, I'll link this down below too. They don't put the names of their brushes down there, down there, on here. I am not someone who bakes. I've tried baking, I've tried the Laura Mercier powder under my eyes, I've tried translucent powders under my eyes and loose powders, and there's something about it that it takes away all of the coverage of my concealer. I don't know what it is, but baking does not work on me at all. So for me, the It Cosmetics CC Cream isn't super long lasting. So whenever I wear this or mix it in, I do set my face. Two powders that I've been obsessed with lately for setting my face are the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. This is one of the only loose powders I found that actually gives me coverage. I love the finish of this. The color is beautiful. I mentioned this in my last favorites video. If you ha didn't purchase this, seriously, buy it. I love this stuff. Today I'm actually going to be using the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder um, because, I don't know, just feeling it. This is what I've been using for the last like week. Before that I was using this, I just switch off. This powder is beautiful, also hit pan on this. Gives you a really nice finish and I like that because I hate when you have to set your foundation and then it takes away the finish of the liquid foundation that you put on. And it has good coverage. The brush I'm using is a Coastal Sense brush, it's like $5. And I love this for powder, I feel like this gives me the best coverage out of any powder brush I've ever used. I always link all the brushes I use, all the products I use in the description box below and you better read it because description box literally takes me like an hour to fill out every time. This is a little bit too dark for my skin tone, which is why I make the foundation a little bit light. So once I put this on, everything just looks normal and it's a good shade. So next I go in for contour and some days I contour, some days I put bronzer on, some days I don't do anything. Lately, I've been really enjoying this. This is a Physician's Formula Super BB Insta Ready. This is like, borderline a little orangey for me but I feel like it just gives me warmth to my face and it, you have to really like layer this stuff on which I kind of like because if you want more of a subtle look you can just stop here and you have a little bit of bronze going if you want more of an intense look you can keep put, packing that on I don't usually put any bronzer on my temples I don't know, just what I do. So this I have a love affair with. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I mentioned this in favorites videos and on Instagram and everywhere. This is uh, so nice. This is the e.l.f. Did I just say that? E.l.f. Illuminating Palette. This shade, if you have fair skin, stunning, makes you glow, just gives this really nice brightening effect. The consistency of these are pretty dang powdery, so if you don't like that, then you probably won't like this. But the color and everything just works really nicely for my skin tone. So I just go in with that lightest white shade, plop that over here, and look at that glow. 
I'm just in love with this. I do put a little bit of this on the tip of my nose and then Cupid's bow. Then I go in with blush. Been using this guy every single day. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade Medium Rose. So beautiful. I love this shade. I use this in my Mad Men tutorial. This just gives such a pretty rosy pink like flushed look which I'm all about. Blush brush is Morphe E34 and so soft. So yeah, just blushing it up over here. Then I go in with the king of all brushes. Look at this guy. This is the Morphe E41 and Oh my god, if I could marry a brush, it would be this. Like, look at how huge this is. It's a freaking microphone. There are so many bristles in here that are just so densely packed. This brush is amazing. It's so soft. And I just go in and blend. Oh my god, it feels so good. I just blend all that. Makes the blush look a little bit less intense. So last step before I do the rest of my makeup is I go in with my setting spray. I've been using two lately because high maintenance. I use this one mostly just on like the center of my face. I do a couple spritzes and then I use this to make sure that the rest of my face is fully covered. This stuff does burn my eyes if I open them before it's dry, but it legit works. It gives you a really nice glowy look. Attempt to find the other bottle while your eyes are closed. I'm like out of this one. Don't open your eyes before the Makeup Forever one is fully dry. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Alright, so once all of my makeup's done, this is what it looks like. I don't usually wear a winged eyeliner during the week, but this is pretty much what my face looks like if I do. If not, I do everything except the wing and just wear mascara. All of the products I used, even the ones I didn't show you guys, are linked down below. I know some of these items are more on the pricey side, especially the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, but honestly, that thing is so great and you literally need the tiniest bit and it'll last you for forever. If you're someone who doesn't have acne, you could literally get away with like a dot for your whole face. For me, it's worth it because it's pale and it covers acne, which is really hard to find. If you guys like this video and it was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,